So here, una natin gawin is we click the select all button. You could easily see this because on Excel window, it is located on left top of the headers, column headers and row headers. Again, that is the select all button. You select this one. Then we remove the imaginary lines. Imaginary lines. We color it with white. So, ayan. Wala na siya. And now, we could... Uh, what I'll do is, I'll just have this demo together with the example on the notes. So, type ko na lang siya para makita nyo. Okay, Excel calculation that is located on A1. Then, increase on uppercase is on B3. Then, increase is 3%. That is annual increase from 2015. The budget generated for 2016 is an increase of 3% here. So, we incorporate previews. Para sabayan na lang sila. We just, ano nga na uh, convert it to decimal. That's why we had 1.03. 1.03. Okay. Expenses is on B5. Okay lang akong audio. Okay lang magsabat ha. Advertising, rent. Okay lang magsabat. Kasi hindi ko alam. Ano na dininig nyo ba ako o hindi? Okay lang ma'am. Okay lang ma'am. Okay. But they want now. <laughs> to, <laughs> ang alam nyo lang. Parang kinakausap ang sarili. Budget. Okay, I'll just select these resources and make it bold. So, roaton nga, Excel data, dalawang klase, the label or the text, and Lahat ng label or text is automatically aligned to the right. So, dito hindi siya kasya on column B. So, what you do is you just position your pointer, mouse pointer on the header, then double click. Ayan, that's used to auto fit the content. So, ayan na siya, kasya na siya. Now, we type expenses for January. So, sa Excel, yung mga dates na yan, tulad din sa consideration nga, it will be used for book preparation. So, alam na niya yung mga dates na yan. So, what you do is you just use the autofill. Ito yung autofill holder niya. Holder kasi all you have to do is drag that to the right. Yan. As you see, mayroon tayong live preview for February and March. Drag and then drop. Siyempre, total wala siya doon. I'll just type that. Now, for figures, okay, I'll just select all the data. Anyway, total will be computed. So, sinelect ko na lang siya lahat and then encode. Just press enter, 2,100, enter. 1, 2. Ah, 1, 3, gali. Okay, dali yan. 1, 3. In. and 500. Just press enter. Two, one. Similar lang then 16K and 600. Ay, kung naman ako. 4, 2, 1. Ay ka. 4, 2, 1. Kung naman ako, 1, 2. Okay, for March. 5, 2, 2, 1, 1, 4. 
and sixteen five six hundred. So that that is the data. Now how to place these borders is first we try to examine the available borders in Microsoft Word. So borders is under the ribbon home tab. Ribbon home under the font groupings. Dito siya. Siya bottom, top, left, and right border. No border. All borders. Nagamitin natin doon is stick border. Bottom siya. So what we do to be able to apply that properly is since nasa taas ng expenses yung bottom border, di dito, select natin sa taas. And then we select bottom, thick bottom border. Ayan na siya. Then, sa ilalim, okay, sa ilalim ng expenses is bottom border lang na simple. So, ito yon pinakataas. Next is utilities, naka-double line siya. So, select this one. Uh, San ka banda? Ito, top and double bottom. So, bottom lang. Bottom, double border. Ayan siya. Utilities. Okay. Now we're done. I would also emphasize na yung uh, numbers naman are aligned to the right. So, very comfortable para sa atin na which do the computation. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-align. Ayan na siya sa ready. Another is I want to change the font to Times New Roman. So using the select all button. Let's type here Times New Roman. And then font size to 12. Okay. Next is to get the total Okay, we'll use auto sum function. Auto sum function is found on editing. And dito rin sa my home ribbons under the editing groups or groupings. Ito siya, oh. So first, you'll have to position it here. Okay. Position it under January. Then we click auto sum. Okay, as you see, hindi na ako nag-type, ha? Sum of C6 to C10. C6 there is the value from advertising of January up to C10, which is the value of utilities for January. I'll just press enter for this. So what we'll do here is similar lang then, that is the sum of, of B6 to D to 10. D6 to D10. Dito is sum of E6 to E10. So again, we will make use of the autofill. Ito yung autofill holder. Oh, I'll tell you what happened. Paano niya nalaman na ito pala ay D? Paano niya nalaman na ito pala ay E? Siyempre, yung pang Yung autofill natin's direction coming from the original formula is to its right. Papuntang kanan. Therefore, when relative referencing is used, ayan ha, that is a topic. When relative referencing is used, it simply uh, tries to adapt or figure the, the relationship on adjacent cells. When you say adjacent cell, close to it, it's either sa left nana, sa right nana, sa top, or sa bottom. Sa atong case, ay, Ruana nga, relationship papuntang right. So, from C, since your formula is located on C11, so, going to the right, ano yung magbabago? Siyempre, yung column natin, it will become D11 and E11. Same lang yung row. Na yun yung relative referencing. It's either yung pakanan, pakaliwa, pataas, or pababa. So, kung horizontal yung rel relative referencing, magbabago is column. Pero kung vertical, yung magbabago or ina-adapt niya na adjacent cell 
is yung row naman or yung numbers. O ngayon, meron na tayo yung example on relative referencing na yung nagbabago is row. Ay, row. I mean, column. Dito, yung total naman niya. Okay, auto sum. That is sum of C6 to E6. So, when you copy this, oh, bago doon is pababa. So, row 6, all number 6 here will become 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, we'll just hold the autofill. Yan. Copy pointer. Tingnan niya siya. Sum of C6 to E6. Ito, C7 to E7, C8 to E8, and so on. So, that is relative referencing. Next, and to dos ko naman yung isa. Ano yung isa? <laughs> absolute referencing. So, with absolute referencing, wala siyang basis. For instance, ano yung walang basis? Nag-iisa lang yung iyong basis. Dito sa example ko, yung basis mo is C3. What would be 2016 budget based on 2015 increase of 3%. So, equals, you click on 2015 January budget, then you multiply, multiply, multiply that with the increase rate. Now, you press F4. In absolute referencing, we use F4, which is a function key found on top of our keyboard. So, syempre, F4 is just katabi of F3 and F5. <laughs> so, I'll Try pressing F4. Ayan siya. Pansin nyo, merong dollar sign na na-feed. Dollar sign there is used to make a column or row fix. Hindi na siya makakagalaw. So dito, fix yung column, fix din yung row, which is C and 3. If I press F4 the second time, fix na si row. Hindi siya makaka move from row 3. But then, C there is relative. So, pwede siyang magpalit. Pwede B. Pwede D. So, since our movement is going to the right, o, oh, ba? Hindi pwede mag-move siya sa D3. Kasi walang value doon sa D3. ba? Ito naman, another. Dito, yung movement niya na fix is column. Yung row niya man niya is relative. Ibig sabihin, pwede siyang mag-move up 2, 3, eh, 2, 1, and then move down, 4, 5, and so on. So in our case, dapat dalawa, both row and column is fixed. That's why isang strike lang ng F4, we make C and 3 relative, ay, absolute, and you press enter. Now we copy this to the right. Tignan niya dito. That is D11, ito yon total in 2015 being multiplied with same value, 1.03 on C3. Tignan mo dito. Ayan siya. Pareho. Copy. That is absolute referencing. So halimbawa, erase ko muna. Erase ko muna. Halimbawa, we use relative referencing. Wala ka pang idea. Eh. So you click it here. Then you multiply it to this one. You press enter. And then you use autofill to copy. Papansin nyo, oh, ma'am, bakit zero? Kasi ginamit niya is relative. And when you take note, it was multiplied to D3, which is currently walang laman. It was multiplied to E3 na wala rin laman. That's why you have to make sure to use absolute referencing for that scenario. So what do you do to make this absolute? You press F4. Enter. Copy. All right. Now, another important reminder with formula is that we're used to group numbers, di ba? In three, using space or comma. Tulad dito sa example. Yan yung wag na wag nyong gagawin with Excel. Just make sure to place a difference na yung text is purely letters lang, tsaka yung numbers is purely number. Huwag niyong dagdagan ng special character like comma or space. Ha? Kasi 
you will mess up with formula later on. However, if you're already done, just like the ones we did now, natapos na, pwede mo format. Format this and just select the whole range to format. Then, how do you format? He uses the comma style under numbering number groups. There. Okay, click this one. As you see, meron talagang dalawang decimal place. You could decrease that. Okay, decrease and increase. So, decrease tayo. There. Okay, we're done. So, another is, dito sa notes nga na kay relative, this, that is discuss, ayan, lahat ng sinabi ko. Nandiyan na rin siya, ha? Dollars are used to create absolute or making it fixed or anchored to a specific uh, column or row. Next is when you try moving the reference. Ito yung advantage if you try moving the formula. Okay. The four directions, okay, four directions then is the move button. So, pwede niyan drag down. Even if you try replacing the value, take note that the data is updated. Ma-update yun yung answer mo sa 2015 total. Ganon din sa budget. Alright? Yun yung kaibahan. If you wanted to create a copy, what you do is equals Select C3. What is C3? So, anything that happens with C3, it also updates. Yun yung formula natin. Pag kinapi mo to, copy, and paste it somewhere else, iba yun. Ito kasi yung common na ginagawa natin with Microsoft Word. Iba yung copy and paste, ha? Okay. Copy ko to. And paste it somewhere else. Maman, ma'am, what a ma'am. Kasi... Alam mo naman, meron tayong relative tsaka absolute referencing. So, pag nag-copy-paste ka, yun yung mangyayari sa'yo. Sometimes, you could find that confusing. So, para hindi kayo makonfuse, if you wanted to copy in Excel, always use the equal sign if you are referring to numbers. So, ito equals ko siya. And turo ko dyan and enter. Ayan, pag nag-update dito, you make this 2,000. So, yung February total, tsaka yung budget magbabago. At dahil kinapi ko siya, ano bago na rin siya. Alright. Yan lang siya kasimple guys. Very simple pero importante. Another uh, idea I want to give you is yung, ma'am, paano ma'am pag nag-type ako number? Halimbawa nag-type ako ng phone number ko. Yan yung phone number ko. 8, 6, 3, 5, and... Zero to. Okay. Basta may number, naka-align right. Tama? So, nag-align right man. Ima, ma'am, paano ro zero, ma'am, phone number ito? So, in Excel, tulad ng last lesson natin with mail merge na data siya. It is regarded as data. So, magkaiba, syempre yung text, tsaka yung number. So, to make number, become text, we use as apostrophe or single quote. Nasa left side lang siya ng ating enter. Enter key sa keyboard. So, may nalagay tayo ng ganyan. Single quote, zero. And when I press enter, naka-align, left na siya. Meaning, it is already considered as label. Kahit lagyan mo pa siya ng madaming madaming zero. Okay. Ayan. Label na siya. Unlike if do it this way, walang apostrophe, when you press enter, that is regarded as number. So, that is it. Yun na. Bye, guys. Bye, ma'am. Ma Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Ma Thank you.